Well, howdy there, folks. I like to like you to see that we got the Canadian team right out there pulling in their secret weapon. This is the latest one of their sleds. Now we got cases and cases and boxes. We got acres of these things out in the back 40. I'll show you in just a few minutes now. But this is the latest one. This is where all the hard tech is being imported and they don't know we're over here unless you start seeing them looking over here. Now isn't that a nice system, fellas? All of us would like to be on that team. Now I may be 60 years old, maybe you don't have to be in that good of shape. Oh, well, you witnessing something that you've never seen before on the planet. This is a discovery, a big discovery for Australia. Now that we know how they get around, we're gonna do the same, okay fellas? Now, not a lot of folks know that the Aussies first competed in the Olympic bobsleigh way back in the 1988 Olympic Games in Calgary, Canada. Oh yeah, that's right. They love Calgary, and us Calgarians, we love them, that's for sure. Now, the Aussies are still hanging their boxing kangaroo flag over that balcony of their Athletes Village Party headquarters down at the Vancouver 2010 Olympics. And the AOC said the IOC are ASSs, but they'll take it down if they get uh, some kind of written request free of any acronyms. Now the IOC are they're still a little touchy about allowing the Australian two-woman bobsleigh team to compete here at the Vancouver Games in 2010. The Olympics, hey, but those two Duncans, Harvey and Pearl, and, uh, and my favorite, that Jeremy Rolston. They're going to be hard at it at the 2010 Vancouver Games, and that's for sure. And anytime you got a rugby player on your bob team, well, you're in for a fight and a show, I'll tell you. And what a fight and a show well, was last night. I tell you, all those ruggers, they're outstanding partiers, too. And last night, we really saw it, didn't we? That was quite the party they threw last night, those Aussies. I tell you, they're getting ready for the Olympics. They think they could get us Canadians drunk with their bottles of booze, but I'm here standing to let you know that we got a secret weapon that's going against your bobsled. And I was gonna show you that secret weapon right now, but uh, all friendliness aside, now we do love the Aussies. They're very much like us, but all friendliness aside, we're gonna whip your butts when that Olympics come up. You may have the fancy containers for your sleds, but we got the boys. We got the boys and we got oh, the technology yeah. built into our sleds. And we may oh, not yeah. have the fancy uh, containers. Now, we like to white hat the folks when they come yes, into town. Yes. But I uh, understand this cork hat is quite a tradition from down yes. under. Uh, <laughs> the man has to drink. Each one of these corks belonged to a bottle. They made me drink at that party. And then they tried to get me to say that the Aussies would win. Well, I couldn't cough it up like that. I had to say, Canada's number one, Canada! <laughs> Kick up your heels, oh, Canada. <laughs> we got you. I want you Australians to be nice and warm and cozy and enjoy the Olympics. So these uh, fancy hats that you got that you gave us at the party last night, are gonna have to go. You need something warm and cozy. Wait, the Aussies, they're coming, they're coming. They're coming, get out of there, no, get out of there. There they go, whoa, holy cow. And they went uphill too. You don't see that very often. No sure we. 